Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the members of Fresh Bench extend syndicate control of the eastern routes by securing the bayou of Reek Water. And the citrus-hating zealots of Waffle House Company carry their corpse-like and crippling companions into the castle to capture the crown and kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. No word from City Hall as Waffle House, who, despite their worsening conditions, immediately began to seek out and destroy all the oranges in the region. It is yet unclear how the late spring brought about by the eternal frost will impact the harvest. As such, Waffle House Company may succeed in forcing oranges into extinction. Speaking of the eternal frost, only eight days remain until meteorologists predict that the winter will conclude and spring will begin. So be sure to knock out any last minute achievements or goals you may have for the season four reward track before it's too late. The fighting continues with more simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight. Brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Tonight, the syndicate members of Fresh Bench challenge the champs of Outcast for their heavyweight title and the right to rule over Everfall. The roadwork around the island is complete and Fresh Bench return to the ring to test their mettle against the current heavyweight champs. Outcast go for their fifth straight, which would move them out from being tied for ninth with Black Wolves Company and into a tie for eighth with the Marauders of The Reckoning. Meanwhile, the Covenant converts of Hold W2 assail the Marauders of HBM for control of the always contested archipelago of the eastern restless shore. Hold W believe they saw something in their last engagement with HBM that they can exploit in this battle. But the mud hill plays nothing like the river. And HBM know how to play the mud hill, having defended its slippery slope many times in the past. But will they be able to push the offense down and maintain a full hold? Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.